Hey guys, what's up? Sean from uh, Team Charm RC again, and uh, today I'm going to be doing a review on the uh, Low C Triple X SCT, which is actually my truck. Uh, so, yeah. And if you all haven't have been wondering why I haven't been making videos lately, is because school has c had me kind of tied up lately, so it's kind of hard to manage school and videos especially when you have homework like every night of the freaking week it sucks sucks so bad so here we go this is the body and if you can't tell already this was the rolling chassis it was not the actual uh, RTR the RTR comes with a brushed motor uh, I'm pretty sure it comes with 2.4 and I think it goes up upwards of 30 maybe so yeah but I'm oh, yeah, before I even get started where is what I'm looking for hopefully I still have it I'm trying to keep it pointed on the truck which I've been failing at uh, what I'm looking for is, is the stock tires which I think I just found yeah I found some alright good Oh yeah, and if y'all, never mind, I was going to say something, but never mind. The, this th truck comes stock with these low C Eclipses tires. First off, skinny. If you compare them to the tires I have on it now, let me go ahead and take the body off. Yes, I have an overtray. I mean, these things are just like skinny, man. There's not a lot of contact patch. These things are just traction starved, dude. These. Get rid of these tires. That's all I can say. Alright, on to the truck. Uh, the stock suspension set up out of the, out of the box, I think, is 30 weight shock oil with low C uh, silver springs all the way around, which you can see I changed the front. And that, that setup is actually really, really good. Uh, and I was stupid enough to change the shock fluid and it just really does not work for this truck at all so if you want a good shock setup I'd say stick with the stock shock setup which I think is 30 weight shock fluid uh, you can change the springs just not the shock fluid because the shock fluid just uh, Shock fluid is really good in that truck, and the ones I put in it, which was 50 weight, I'm kind of regretting. It just bounces around now. Uh, but yeah, in the RTR, you don't get a battery. You get a brush-only ESC, which I think can handle a two-cell LiPo. I think it's got a low voltage cutoff. And you get, I think it's a 15-turn, and I almost dropped the freaking truck. Uh, I think it's a 15-turn uh, brushed motor, but... Yeah, it comes with uh, the metal camber links and uh, steering tie rods, and you have metal dog bones in the back. It comes with plastic gears in the uh, diff and everything, which I still run my brushless. Uh, it comes, it would, like I said, this is the roller, so this is all my personal stuff in this. Uh, it comes with a Spectrum SR300 receiver. And a, I, I'm not sure if it's a real slow servo, but it's a pretty slow servo on the RTR. But I have a uh, high-tech super torque in there, so it doesn't really bother me. Uh, but when I was, I, I went up to my track one day and I was durability testing this thing. It just took the abuse. I mean... I broke nothing the only thing I don't even know if you can really consider this a breakage but I like bent the dog bone and that's all I did I bent the dog bone and I could still use it easily but I just decided to switch it out because when you have a bent dog bone your tires are always sitting here doing that so and I mean I also bent the kick up plate a little bit this is plastic but it did bend uh it didn't it it started out flat but i 
I bent it, but there is an aluminum upgrade for that. And uh, I think the TLR tuning kit comes with an aluminum one too. But uh, as you can see, I put this thing through a lot, especially on the bumpers. Because that's the thing that is uh, most vulnerable on a short course truck. I took the mud flaps off. But on a short course truck, you only really have like these... Uh, steering knuckles and the bumpers really to break unless you have like an aluminum chassis because if you have an aluminum chassis you could always bend the chassis and uh yeah but uh, uh anything else it comes with aluminum the sound of that was getting on my nerves uh it comes with aluminum shocks not, it's not threaded. You have this little screw you take out and you slide this thing up and down. <laughs> okay, sorry. Uh, but you got metal out drives on both sides. Uh, the front wheels, I do not like the way they designed this. There's bearings in the front wheels instead of the wheel hexes, which I like better because then I could, if I have a set of back tires, I think would work better for the front. I could just switch them. But with this, I can't. I had to buy a whole new set of rims and tires. So, don't like that, Losi. I do not like that. But, uh, this is an older truck, so I'm just saying, like, on your newer trucks, please don't put the bearings in the rims. I, I, that's just my opinion. Uh, what else, what else, what else? Mm -hmm. Not really much else I can think of. I didn't break anything. I didn't really you know i haven't even stripped the freaking gear out of the gearbox yet i mean this thing is just taking the abuse i can throw at it and this is a racing truck it's not a basher and i'm not a basher either i just decide to durability test it and the thing just takes it so if you're looking to get this truck the rtr version comes with a little bit not the best electronics but if you want the roller edition and buy your own stuff like I did, it's worth the money. But I don't know how much the uh, RTR versions are. And also, this thing's got a lot of steering throw. I mean, my ECX Torment never had that. I mean, let me put it full, like, in the middle. That's about the middle. And that's where it stops. My ECX Torment never had that much steering throw ever so and get, this thing likes to handle it's a good it's a good tight and technical track kind of car too but it can also take speed so but if i was going to rate this truck i would really for a beginner uh, about maybe a 9.5 almost a 10 the only thing the reason i give it a 9.5 the bearings and the rims because you got to think, if a guy that's newer to RC, they aren't going to want, like, if they buy a set of tires for the back, and have they have the 6, 20, or not 6 millimeter, the uh, uh, 12 millimeter hexes, then uh, they can't put them on the front if they think they'd work better on the front. I, I just, I don't like that. But, uh, yeah. And I got a couple things to say for this video. One, uh, I'm wondering if uh, any of my subscribers are, that are watching this has a low C S C T E. I just wanted to know: is it a good truck, and uh, is it worth how much it costs? Because I'm thinking about getting one, but I just want to know if it's worth the money. Because I don't want to buy a truck that just sucks. So, if any of my subscribers that are watching this, or anybody that's watching this really, has a low C S C T E, uh, one, like I said, is it a good truck? Two, what are the necessary upgrades that I need? Uh, and also, I'm thinking about buying. Not only the SCTE, but I'm thinking about buying a low C22 kit 
the uh, kit version because I want to build a the uh, kit. But uh, yeah, if you like this video, uh, comment. Well, if you like this video, leave a like. If you, I, I forgot what I was gonna say. But uh, if you like the video, leave a like, and I would appreciate so as you all subscribing. And uh, what else? Oh yeah. So yeah, that is my review on the Low C Triple X SCT. So, uh, comment, rate, subscribe, guys. So, yeah, see you later.